Hello, so I'm doing a little bit of a longer video right now. Um, I should probably be doing Facebook Live, but I'm still a little apprehensive about that, so I haven't graduated there yet. But I figured I would do a little bit of a longer uh, video, first and foremost, to share um, the beauty of what I am looking at right now, which is where I came to again, and I have no idea how to turn this around, so I'm just going to turn it around and show you guys how amazingly magnificent the California coast is, the ocean, the waves, the surfers, the sun, the sky, it's absolutely beautiful. And so I was here yesterday and one of my requests, I had a request of the universe. And my request of the universe was that it completely close any door that's not in alignment with who I am and where I'm going. Like don't even open it. Just completely close the door if it's not meant for me. Don't give me the temptation. Don't just take it off the table was my request to the universe and then only open the doors that are meant for me to walk through that are meant for my growth my evolution and my path both now and in the future um, and so a few hours after I left here and I left the ocean I was supposed to have a meeting today and I got an email that the person was going to be unable to do the meeting talk about the universe responding quick right it's pretty amazing always when you ask, you will receive the sign. The problem is we have to be open to receiving it. And so here comes the second part. The mind is tricky. So I got the sign. I knew it was a sign. I knew it had just been removed off the table and it was kind of like confirmation for me that that path is not meant for me. But the person said, can we reschedule? And they sent the email at requesting a reschedule and this is where the mind gets tricky because my mind started to say, well, maybe you heard the sign wrong. Maybe it wasn't really a sign. Maybe you're misinterpreting it. Maybe you should still meet because maybe it's a possibility there. Um, what if you don't go and you could have made money? Or what if you don't go and it could have turned into a great possibility? Uh, no, that's called self-doubt. It happens to all of us. The mind is very sneaky and tricky. And it will, the minute you receive a sign, you ask for a sign and you are going to receive it. Now the question is, are you going to listen to the sign that you just received? Or are you going to question, doubt it, and proceed with your choice anyway and try to control the situation thinking that maybe you didn't hear yourself wrong? May, or right maybe you didn't hear yourself right maybe you misheard the message maybe there's a possibility there you are not trusting yourself and that's what I found myself doing um, yesterday and this morning is not trusting myself saying to myself well the universe very quickly sent me a sign but maybe I should be open anyway maybe I'm not hearing right maybe I don't know you know I started the self-doubt and the what ifs and the coulda woulda shoulda started creeping into my mind and I had to stop myself I had to say you know what no I'm not playing this game with my mind I asked for something to be done the universe responded now it's up to me to recognize accept and receive the sign so I'm a little bit longer here today on this to talk about recognizing accepting and receiving the signs when they come um, I all too often talk to people who say well I prayed for this sign I prayed for direction I prayed for this and then they'll say and this happened but uh, that that they just disregarded it that that wasn't a sign or they just go for it anyway they ask for the sign they get the sign and then they can do it anyway and they go for it and they act like the sign never came or that the sign wasn't correct my friends if you ask the universe or God or the divine for a sign you will receive it when you receive the sign don't doubt it don't question it if you choose not to listen then just be outright and admit my choice right now is not to listen to the sign. But don't doubt that the sign came. Don't doubt 
the universe. Don't doubt yourself. We always know there's a deeper internal knowing that always knows what's right. It always knows the direction and the path we should go. The funny thing is, on top of everything else, is I was already questioned at meeting. Once I was honest with myself, I realized there was a little something there already that was telling me that maybe that wasn't it. It was saying that I don't think that I should, this is my path. But I told myself, you know what? I'm going to go anyway. I'm going to show up. I'll see how I feel after the meeting is over. I'll see where I stand once that is complete. And then I'll make a decision from there. But then I made a prayer. And the universe responded. It showed up. It showed out. It gave me exactly what I asked for. It completely closed the door where I was going to leave it just to crack open just in case. It said no. It closed the door for whatever reason the person was unable to make it. And now, or earlier yes, today and yesterday, I had the nerve to actually want to question the signs. Stop questioning your signs. That goes for me. That goes for you. Stop doubting and not trusting yourself. You know. So know that you know. Own it and proceed in the path that the universe is directing and taking you. If you don't listen, I can guarantee, because it's happened to me, you're gonna repeat the lesson. You're gonna go down a door that the universe already closed and you're gonna go anyway. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna repeat a lesson that you thought you learned in the past, but obviously you didn't quite fully learn it. So you're gonna go through it again and you're gonna keep going through that cycle until you listen and until you complete the path. Stop doubting yourself. Stop questioning the signs. Trust, surrender, let go, and follow. Because that is the path for the growth and evolution in your life. The problem is a lot of times the signs, where they direct us or the things they have us do, we don't understand, we can't comprehend, we can't make it make sense to our mind. So we question, we doubt, um, we go, we proceed for it in our direction anyway. It's called faith, it's called trust, um, it's called letting go. So just wanted to do this short, quick video. And again, I'm gonna share with you guys this amazing, beautiful, California coast today. And wherever you are in the world, have an amazing and amazing rest of your day. Bye.